So let's continue on and in this part, which is uh, the stock market chart for the coin market cap part 49, we're going to solve basically the adjustment of this. Well, we have this adjusted as we move here, but what we don't have is the color adjustment. So we're going to solve the border color, but there's a lot more issues I noticed along the way. As you can see here, my interpolation is not working anymore. So anyway. There will be another video for that. I'm going to just do one thing at a time because this is becoming very tedious work now to figure out where it is. So what we're going to do here is we're going to scroll down and we have to go down to the, uh, I think it's somewhere like line 600 plus or we can just search with shift, basically the shift variable if you have that, which is line 463. So that line here covers this item here. And if you remember, we did the starting point Basically, we need to grab the starting point and put that in here. So this is a very short item, basically, just quickly adjustment on this. So, well, or let's search for the starting point and just grab that starting point and just grab that code here. Uh, not this one. You have to go all the way here up. The constant starting point here. You can just grab this entire item. Copy this. Control F. Search for Shift. And there we are. What we're going to do here, put that in here. And then we can save that. What this truly does is basically look for the position of the index as well, matching. And what it will do then eventually is reposition the color height based on whatever the value is on the X value, or sorry, on this one here on that item. So if I move this, you can see here now it works, but of course, look at the ra uh, uh, gradient effect. That is, I guess, because everything is so connected with each other, we have to solve that again as well. So what we have to do, that one, I will make a separate video again for that to cover that specific item. 